Hi lovelies, it is uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Thursday. <laughs> what day is it today? My god, it's Thursday. So we've gotten a little bit past the uh, first half of the week, but this would be the third day of Seeds of Creation. And I'm going to call this kind of quote unquote hump day, as I believe it's called. So, kind of like, you know, almost merging to the middle of the week. I'm going to make this a very quick video because um, I'm really feeling like it's cave time today. And this actually comes at a really great time, what I'm going to recommend. So, first of all, I thought I'd get um, an idea out there that you can try today that's kind of fun and. Um, involves a little bit of research or some reading or some uh, some astrological zodiac work um, with your guide or character and if you have been using just a specific elemental card um, like you know as if you've watched the videos you've picked a card and you, you you know it's elemental association go looking for the astrological um, associations and also go looking for the zodiac associations with that element so, for example, I have an air, um, I had an air card to start with, which was the King of Swords, and so that represented um, my guide straight away. And so, you know, if the air, you've got Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. So you can go looking for those different um, zodiacs and their personalities, and I think that's a fun way to sort of just connect with your guide. Um, that you know, it doesn't take up a lot of time, and it can be interesting to see what their um, personalities and essence and soul is like. And um, I recommend writing Gemini or Libra or Aquarius at the top of a page in your journal or, or book, and sort of just connecting with that. Um, maybe take a couple of keywords from whatever you're reading about what um, a Gemini represents. Do some free writing on it and see what comes up. Have a conversation with your uh, have a conversation with your guide or character because again this is what we're doing we're having conversations with uh, our guides I also wanted to just touch on after that because that's a fun exercise that I'm going to try today and that doesn't have to always be um, the conversating conversation with, you, with your guides or character doesn't always have to be on paper specifically to start off with today I'm going to recommend um, two things one is that if you do have any of your books from your childhood, that's a great idea to have them around and gather them up. Um, if you don't, that's fine. Um, you, maybe you want to go out and have an investigation and find some of the books from your childhood if possible. But if not, um, just choose some books that you really, really enjoy, your favourites if you have any. Um, if you don't have any books uh, at all, I'm not quite sure how this exercise is going to fare out for you. But um, just pick anything that you really like that you feel like resonates with your soul at some time of your life, on some timeline. And so I have actually still got um, Eden Blyton's books from my childhood. And I've got The Adventures of the Wishing Chair, Brer Rabbit's A Rascal, The Folk of the Faraway Tree and Br'er Rabbit again and I have a, um, a whole bunch of famous fire books as well now a couple of months ago I tried to read them again after I'd spent years reading um, a lot of intense fantasy and epic science fiction and my brain was just like this is not happening <laughs> like the the language is it, I, you know as a kid it was like fine because that was what I read but as an adult it was really hard to kind of put myself into the childlike mindset and so today the challenge is when you are connecting with your guide or character, think about the inner child, think about the innocence, think about the beginning, think about how you can tap back into that sort of, that feeling of having no expectations, just joy, just pleasure, um, and maybe a little bit of fear too or excitement or whatever comes up when you're reading these things. I remember when I was reading Bray Rabbit again. I used to always get freaked out by this picture. <laughs> that one there. That's Waters. But uh, I used to get freaked out sometimes because they had such. They had morals. They had morals and lessons embedded in them that I wasn't sort of um, subconsciously aware of. 
But when we're reading today, we're reading to connect with that part of ourselves. We're reading to connect with um, our guides and characters and their inner child as well. So we're meeting each other on that in, in that space. In that space of offering both halves of loss and happiness, sadness and pleasure. Um, and it's really about connecting that, that t together, like understanding the whole spectrum of life, but in the eyes of a child or in the eyes of a childlike frame of mind. And I think this is a really, really healing experience. Every so often I do this myself, I will pick up a book from my childhood or a, a book that I really, really love, and that's what I'm also doing too. I'm reading Touch of Power by Maria B. Snyder. And it has nostalgia attached to it, but it's the book itself, it's the story itself. And um, I was feeling really drawn to picking it up again myself, like the Touch of Power, because I actually have, uh, my guide is a forest mage. He has told me many times, he's like, I'm a forest mage, um, you know, the old school kind of fantasy. Um, he kind of uses sometimes archaic language, but he said, yeah, he's a forest mage. And I'm like, cool, like, that, I love that. Like, um, I'm a water witch and I've worked with a lot of fire, but this year I definitely wanted to work with earth magic. So he came along and this book deals with a character who also is an elemental um, mage or magician and healer who has powers that um, he draws upon nature for protection. And I won't go into too much detail if, if you want to read this book, but yeah. And I, I'm reading it last night and it dawned on me this, this would be a really fantastic practice to do today, especially with Seeds of Creation. And so what I'm doing is I'm reading to my guide. I'm reading out loud. I'm getting really comfy in my space, in my bed. Um, I'm still wearing my clothes and pajamas and stuff from yesterday. I don't think that's going to change for a couple of hours. Uh, and bring those books into your space. And then the second thing I would recommend doing is getting your journal out. Because something that came up for me uh, last night when I was thinking about what video to make to, um, tomorrow or today, is that process, processing, reflecting, um, going deeper. We've just spent like two, three days actually like going really intensely into some sort of uh, meditative work and creative work. And before that, I was definitely doing that myself. Um, that's if you're doing this, but I'm just talking for me. Yeah, I've been going into like insane, incredible amounts of knowledge gathering and um, you know learning and things like that. And it's gotten to the threshold point where I know that there's something that I need to cross, but before I do that, I need to process things. So having a journal today, having a pen, having your whatever you need to um, reflect and process things would be a great idea. Uh, you can use tarot cards. I'm not quite sure if I'm actually going to draw anything today. I definitely have my tarot cards by my bed for the energy of the day. And uh, today I got, uh, you know, it's high priestess energy. So that makes a lot of sense that it's, um, you know, going inwards, going to that um, underground place, that cave to sort of figure out what's going on and, and unravel the mysteries and secrets of what's going on underneath. And so I will be doing that. And I already have started doing some journaling. And so today's a bed day. Today is a, I'm making a cup of tea and I'm going to go read to my guide. I'm going to spend some time with my guide talking to my guide out loud. Um, because I used to do that as a child and I forget, like I used to do that with my toys. I used to have my, my soft toys on my bed and, I, and um, I'd close the door and I'd get scared or I'd have something I want to talk about that I couldn't talk about with my parents. And I talked to my soft toys and my plushy toys or whatever you want to call them. Um, I still have my childhood elephant. He may he may turn up in another video. But um yeah, so it it is a really um nourishing, self loving connect connection with your guide or character and listen to what they say about their childhood as well. We're not just going into self and, and sort of offering ourselves completely. Um I want to hear what my uh, I want to hear what my guide says and character says about his childhood as I read 
and I think that can be really some interesting insights that come up in regards to how you um, how you guys can connect with each other especially when you're wanting to deal with your inner child that's hurt or sad or whatever circumstance it is in when you feel like you need to tap into that energy and heal some stuff you know you can come to your inner guide and talk about it because you are it is that intimacy and reaction and connection with that um, energy that can offer you the same uh, feeling and maybe offer some suggestions and to do that I definitely do think you need a journal for this as well and I, I will re really create time and time again because I am a journal pusher I love my journals um, without them I don't know what would happen with me I just and when I tend to not write you know about it when I'm not writing like a couple of days Drew has horns like really big horns and you don't want to mess with Drew when she hasn't written anything so <laughs> So that's a little bit of an exercise for you guys today. I think that's enough to go off today um, because, you know, you really only need about a, a half an hour to an hour to really sink into this. Um, I've got some tea brewing. I've got my Brer Rabbit or Fire Away Tree. And I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about reading the Folk of the Fire Away Tree or the Adventure of the Wishing Chair because they have fairies in them and I love fairies. So I'm working heavily with fairy energy today. And of course, like this which I was reading last night and in, into the wee hours of the morning I know right like three pages but <laughs> and that's what really started the conversation I just I was really tired and feeling really sad and it's raining and I just started talking to my guide about <laughs> how much I love this book and how I think you know the subconscious levels of, I, I taken it in and I read it around the same time I started working my own magic and building up my own confidence. So, yeah. Thank you, lovelies, for watching. And I will talk to you all later. Love you. Bye.